So thanks to Evan, Mark, and don't forget Ben, Hasbro has graced us with the newest Pulse fan stream, but what do they have in store for us, guys? We're going to cover that, my thoughts, and I'll give you the latest news right now on Transformers Talk Raw. That's right, the latest Hasbro Pulse fan stream was held yesterday morning, guys. That's right, in the work week of Tuesday, uh, here in the mid-November. We're approaching mid-November. I don't, still don't understand why Hasbro insists upon doing that, but I won't get into that rant. Let's move on straight to the figures, guys. I hope you guys are having a great work week. It's not going too hard for you guys. Now, if you haven't heard, you can click those latest, or those, all those various links in the description below. It's going to take you all kinds of cool stuff, including our Facebook group, where you can come chat bots, hang out with us. We'd love to see you guys there. You can also help support the podcast, which is featured on Spotify and here on YouTube, if you're listening to us there, uh, via Patreon by clicking that link. And a mere three bucks a month or one dollar a month tiers goes a long way to upgrading our equipment, guys, and helping us continually do these giveaway figures that we do every month. But let's get right to it. There's all kinds of cool stuff up there in the links or down below in the uh, description if you want to check those things out. Um, but uh, yeah, first up, guys, of course, Evan, Mark, and Ben, uh, as usual, showed off the latest post, uh, uh, latest figures. And, uh, and we have the Reactivate video game inspired Starscream and Bumblebee up first. And these guys look pretty cool. That's not quite my cup of tea. But if you like them... Uh, surely you'd like the uh, Reactivate inspired Soundwave and Optimus also. The Starscream, I actually do like the coloring on this, and he doesn't look bad. Uh, I'm not into it, but I can see how some it would appeal to some Transformer fans. We also have some core classes, which includes the Studio Series Mohawk, I believe, from The Rise of the Beast, and the core class concept art Rumble, and I believe that was from Bumblebee. And I, actually, I like that Rumble a lot, and I believe he's compatible with the Bumblebee movie Soundwave that we've already gotten previously. Of course, he turns into a little square that can fit inside Soundwave's chest. I think he looks actually kind of neat. And uh, I wouldn't actually mind picking that one up if I come across him in the store. Mohawk, it's a dumb name for a num dumb bot. Let's just be honest, guys. This, this figure looks dorky. It looks cheap. I don't like it at all. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you think. Moving on, of course, we have the Deluxe Rise of the Beast Wheeljack that a lot of folks I've heard have been waiting on. Uh, and if you're into that design, uh, more power to you, and I hope you enjoy the figure. We also have the Deluxe Rise of the Beast Scorponok. Yeah, and he looks okay for what he is. Again, if you like that Rise of the Beast design for these, some of these characters, have at it. I'm sure you won't be disappointed, and I hope you're not. Uh, we also have the War for Cybertron Voyager Starscream that I know a lot of folks also have been waiting on quite a bit, and he does look good. If you were into the War for Cybertron, follow Cybertron games, or those figures, I'm sure you'll like this one. But, uh, of course, we've seen a lot of these things already, and I'm sure by now, by the time you're listening to this, you've seen all of them. But if you have, or you haven't, I appreciate you guys listening. If you like the content, guys, be sure to leave me a like, and make sure you subscribe to get the latest right here on Transformers Talk Raw. And you might see news before we cover it guys but you'll never get that honest opinion like you'll get here the real the raw you'll find it right here on transformers talk raw so thank you so much again for listening but of course we've seen the studio series 86 scrap heap and he looks fantastic guys i cannot wait for this figure he's a great retool and a great use of that retgar mold that we've previously gotten a couple times and he fits right in and actually we have our first images of him right alongside his junkie on comrades from the film and I'm glad we have Junkions that we actually did have screen time rather than these made-up Junkions that Hasbro's also been giving us. But it's cool that they're giving us options to flesh out those Junkion ranks. But, uh, yeah, we also have the, uh, and last but not least, we have, also have the Leader Class Studio Series Bumblebee movie Triple Changer Megatron. That's a mouthful, guys. But he actually looks really nice. Um... If I can find him in the store, I wouldn't mind giving away this figure to you guys. So if I come across one, I might pick it up just to run a giveaway on it because he does look great. Uh, I'd be tempted to pick up one my, for myself, but there's not really a place in my collection for it. I kind My collection kind of leads G1. It's strictly almost G1 with some Beast Wars sprinkled in. Uh, but he's 
Almost. There's exceptions to that rule, but almost. But he does look fantastic. I like this, the look of this figure. The paint apps seem almost premium. And, of course, that's something we've come to expect with the Studio Series line in general. But if you're excited about any of these figures, I'm sure they're going to be up for pre-order if they're not already real soon. But, uh, yeah, guys, but we're going to be doing the giveaway. I'll be announcing. This is the, basically the video where you can enter the giveaway for a redrawing of our Studio Series 86 Brawn, by the way. And if you entered it last week, guys, I'm going to need you, to, or not last week, last month, I'm going to need you to enter again if you're still after that figure. The previous winner of that, and we did have a winner, never claimed the figure. And I give them a full seven days to claim each of these figures. And if somebody doesn't, there's nothing I can do. I made every effort to reach out to this individual. It's the second time he's done this. So he's going to be ineligible to, to enter in the future. But if you guys would like a shot at the Studio Series sealed and shipped at my expense, Studio Series 86 Braun, do me a favor, hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and comment the word enter below. And we're going to do our drawing. I'll announce the giveaway winner of this figure on next week's Tea Talk. So stay tuned for that. But make sure you do those three things. Make sure you're subbed, like it, and type the word enter below. And, and even if, like I said, as long as you stay subbed for as long as you're, the contest is still going on, you're good. But if you think you're going to be slick and just sub and then unsub real quick, that's not going to work, guys, because I can see everyone who's subscribed to me. So just make sure you subscribe. But we're going to come back right back with the news after this. And we have a, a news out of New, New Jersey Comic Con, which is going to be held in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, December 9th uh, of this year. So that's real soon, guys. And it features free parking and a plethora of, of action figure brands inside their massive dealer room. So if you guys are located in New Jersey or you're close to the East Coast there and you want to check it out, that is, again, on December 9th of this year. Uh, moving on, we also have the Rise of the Beast Mainline Wave 2 Deluxes that have been seen in Australia retail, uh, new Earthspark Waves in Japan, and the Leader Studio Series Leader Class Rise of the Beast Primal in Canada. But yeah, not a whole lot in the ways in, way of news this week, guys, and it's also going to be a much shorter segment. I'm kind of beat from work. I know you guys are too. Rest up, and I'm going to catch you back real soon. Thank you so much. God bless, and to all our one. This podcast is made possible thanks to the support of great people like you. Thank you.